Hey guys, it's Josh here from Harmony at Music Academy and I'm going to show you some handy tips and tricks that will put a little style into your drumming. Make sure you share the love, hit that subscribe button and like and of course leave some comments below and let me know what you'd like some help with. The first tip that I'd like to share with you is putting some kick drum in on your fills. Your fills don't always have to use your hands. I used to at first think that faster is better and just using my hands was best. Take some of those hits out with your hands and put a little more kick drum into your fills. So a little bit of an example, maybe you could do a fill that would normally go right, left, 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 right, left. Take some of those rights out, some of those lefts and put the odd kick drum in. So I like going kick right, left, kick right, left, kick right, left, kick right, left, kick right, left. The second tip that I want to share with you is accenting. Definitely my favourite thing and it can really put a lot of emphasis on some of your rolls and rudiments and fills and beats as well. Um, so a bit of an example is at first normally you'll hit everything the same and everything will sound the same. Try just every now and then making a hit somewhere a little bit harder, louder. That's what an accent is, a little bit of a louder hit. So a bit of an example, I'm gonna just hit flat, which is no accents, and I'm gonna put the odd accent in here and there. It instantly already sounds better. The third tip that I want to give you is using the shoulder of your stick and the tip of your drumstick within beats on the hi-hat. This can also be done on the ride as well. So the shoulder is this part here and what you generally do is hit the edge of the hi-hat with it. It's kind of like it gives it a bit more of a heavier rocky sort of sound like that. And Using the tip, you would use this part of the stick and you'd hit the top of the hi-hat. It's a little softer, I'd say, and brighter. Works really well with, like, pop music and, well, works well with a lot, with all styles. Um, so that would be like that. And once you've got used to doing it both ways, that's on the shoulder and now on the tip. You could then try mixing the two together. So I'm just going to go shoulder tip, shoulder tip. And you'll hear this a lot more on an acoustic kit than you will on an electric. I'm on an electric kit at the moment. So. You hear how that second hit each time is a little bit softer. Kind of works a little bit like the accents did that I showed you a moment ago. And you could then use this within a beat, basically. So I'm going to play a beat. I'm going to go one time through just using shoulder, one time through just using the tips, and then I'm going to mix the two together. And I'll just do a straight four to the floor beat uh, for a few bars each time. So shoulder... Tip. And mix. And even on an electric kit, you can hear the difference, I feel anyway, with mixing the two together. And don't be shy to hit hard with this as well. It's quite hard on this kit to hit hard because the hi-hat's very, very low and it's a portable kit but it does the job. Practice them a little bit each day, practice them slow, practice them fast, and practice hitting harder, and low, practice hitting harder a little bit, and a lot when you're doing it. And I promise you, it will put so much more style into your playing. 
keep at it and I'll catch you next time in the next lesson.